Okay, so it's the bit that we've all been waiting for, the stealth only part. Um, I suck at stealth, so we will see how this goes. I apologize if it makes a mess. I have an idea as to the way that we need to go, obviously from the streams and stuff that we did. But it was really messy when I did it, so hopefully I can make a better job of it here. It's nothing. It's just my worst nightmare. We should walk a bit on solid ground. What are we sneaking here? Give me a lot of guards. Oh, all those flowers! That must be for their ceremony. I shall start with. We want to head to the left. That seemed to be the best way to begin. I'm um, heading up here. The main problem with this area before anyway, was there was a guard over there. Soldiers, to cover, quick. Open your eyes. I'm going to grab this loot. I'm going to get in cover here. So, Heavy armor. Wow. a lot of this central area here is really hard to get by, uh, particularly because of like, um, all the different lines of sight stuff, so. We're going to head around this left side. There's one soldier that's patrolling over this way, but it's not too difficult to fox your way around, so that's what we're going to do. He patrols up those stairs, so we should be fine here. Now, it's a little bit immersion breaking, but if you want an advantage here, something you can use to your advantage is the photo mode. You obviously can move around here and have an actual look around to see who's where and who's doing what. This is kind of useful for this guy, so you can see where he is on his patrol in a second. But it shouldn't be too much of an issue for us. I'm going to come around the right inside here for the pot. Got this. So, this one is kind of time-based, as you might imagine. So this is where, as I was saying before, you just want to make sure he's, like, yeah, still heading down. That way, we can have this guy get distracted that way and make it to the grass behind this guy. I've got to be quick. No soldier inside the sanctuary. Well, I had him here. Now then, technically we want to go up there. Um, I'm not sure if there is a better way to do what we're about to do, but as you can see, it's very heavily guarded. There's loot over there if you can get over there, but I don't know. It seems a bit crazy to me to try and send that guy over there to get in for that chest. Yeah. So it seemed easier to me to come back down the stairs. And we can send this guy off over that way. Oh, that's a scene. That's not good. Nothing. So we've just got to be a bit careful about the guy in there. He didn't spot me last time. We've got one guy over this way. Now I made a pretty big mess of this when I was live streaming. So hopefully we can get it right here. Because we want to get over to that grass. You can see there's a jump point over there in the corner of it. And 
I reckon what we want to do is. Sophia, can you use your prism? It won't take long to burn. <laughs> Send both of those over there. What's that smoke? It works every time. I guess not. It's all clear. Feeling stuck. I think what we're going to do is, even though it's a bit wasteful, we need to throw it like over that way. Once again, a bad check. Oh no, it's going to see me. There we go. From again. Just gotta reach that grass. Alright, we got it. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, so we're gonna try this again. As the guard's patrolling down, I'm gonna send a partner out that way. Should track them both down there. You heard that too? I'm gonna check. And then we're gonna make our way to the grass. The area seems clear. Uh, I can't remember if I looted any of these chests. I'm sure there's some nice bits of stuff in there but we're pretty much we're pretty much fine with it all anyways so there's nothing essential in there that we need wait for this guy to not be looking my way Don't ask me how he doesn't auto see you up there, but it kind of just works. There goes our visit. No, no, we were making good progress. There's a big broken tower there. And there is stuff in the we tower, yeah. There are stairs, I think. Could be an abandoned access point. Well spotted. Let's try it. Now I had everything um, after me at this point, so we'll see if we can send this guy over there. I guess not. I can throw a pot again, but it's so wasteful. We'll send them over there, that's what we're going to do. Probably distracted by the ceremony up there. Sophia, can you use your prison? Let's capture the light. Hey. Where's that smoke I make it so easy. Nothing. Yeah, okay, we've made it, pretty much. Just don't run around or anything. To attract attention. Make our way up the stairs. through the door. Let me just double check my nose to make sure we have everything. Yeah, so I'm just worried because we've got um, Herbarium coming and I just wanted to make sure we haven't missed it, so. We're almost there. Whew. Yes. How do you feel, Hugo? I feel funny. Uh, I think we want to go up the tower. I'm sure there's something inside the mountain. I feel it too. Well, I'm trusting you both. Top of the tower. Up 
so we get a climb. Everyone, it is almost time. Gather round, please. I think that's it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No. Nope, I was right. There it is. It's right underneath where the bird nest is. I was panicking because I could hear the uh, the procession coming up, and we need to get in there for the cutscene. But there it is. Hugo, look at this. Is it from the bird? It's up to you. I say it is. Then it would be honoured that you wear it. Keep it for when we see it. Yes, I'll give it back then. There we have it. So. Heading down now, gonna get into something rather cutscene heavy, so be ready for that. Um I think I just snuck around this guy. Yeah. It's just a cutscene. Friends and children. Today marks the longest day of the year. The light of the summer solstice shines upon us once again. And yet, in these cold hallways, hidden from the sun, the child of embers still slumbers. It is time to bring the flame of the phoenix. The phoenix. To his dormant That's embers. Your bird. Thus will we prove that we deserve to care for him. Like mother. Like father. Let us pray together before we enter. What do you think? Bold, but believable. Are we dressing up? Open your mind and heart. It is now time to tell his tale. So that it is never forgotten. What do we do? Let's follow them or not. Huh? And do what they say. They must recognize us. Yes. Come on. Centuries ago, a child was born on this land. His heart was blessed by the sun, from which he inherited the flame that rules everything. And so was born the child of fire. What? His flame shone over the world. He blessed it with his perfume, his laughter, his joy. Of all places, Lacuna was his home. It became a land of life and peace. A place to heal, to thrive. Lacuna became a cradle of light. But light tempts evil. And evil knows no mercy. Come. A child on a throne, in an order temple. It's him, the child of Embers. Take your place at our sides. Please kneel. Evil found the child inside these very halls. It fed on his fire, weakened it, marked his flesh with cold black scars. His mother's arms couldn't warm him anymore. And so his light faded, almost entirely. And the child of fire turned into the child of embers. Lord. A dark era began. Men forgot about him, but we did not. This flame is the last gleam of his light. Our hope 
And now, two of you, a woman and a child, will carry it through his night. You! Your heads are bent. Your humility honors you. You will walk his flame through his darkest hours. Take it. You will walk in his steps. Know the cold that bites the flesh. The drowning in the absence of light. The uncertainty. You will see the child die through the eyes of his mother. You will be the victim and the witness. Keep that torch alive at all costs. The carriers have been chosen. Take your places. What do we do? We have to play along. Let's cross. Go forth and bring him the light. Much depends on it. This is unreal. It's Those frescoes. The plague. They think it was caused by the child's death. So they don't know the macula? I don't think so. They interpreted all this. They made a god. Out of the carrier of the macula. Amicia, the water will put out the torch. I think it's part of their ritual. Drowning in the absence of love. <laughs> I'm cold. It's over. We'll soon warm up. <coughs> it was horrible. But you did it. I thought I was drowning. Calm down. You're fine now. No, I'm scared. Is Just walk. I'm with you. He's dying in his mother's arms. Evil has won. Centuries pass. Famine, war, and plague descend on us. He dreams of fire reborn. You are back, and your torch is gone. You are not alone anymore. The child must meet his mother again. His embers glow in the dark. I am the mother, and I welcome him. Pass it to me. You did well. The child must rise again. Hear me, child. I am not barren anymore, for your flame lives in me. I am the mother. Become the phoenix. The child of fire reborn. Join us. Blow on these flames. <gasps> Life reignite his flame. May the breeze of life reignite his flame. May the breeze of life reignite his flame. May the breeze of life reignite his flame. They'll see we're gone. Not for now. We all look the same. After that cool scene, it's time for me to finish the episode. And in the next one, we'll be grabbing a trophy, so it should be pretty cool. Told you about the order. This place belonged to them. 
And this child on the frescoes? It's the carrier of the Prima Macula. The Prima Macula. This just gets better and better. Alchemists call it the first corruption. It awoke in Hugo's blood when he was a baby. It keeps growing inside him. And it's killing him. That's what this whole place is about. The advent of a carrier of the macula. The order gathering around him, studying him, trying to find a solution. And uh, rats. Let me guess. Death, war, disease, and famine. Not only. The rats are... Anyway, they got it all wrong. There's no child of embers that will come and save the world. It's a fantasy they crafted to fit their hopes. All of it sounds like a crazy fantasy to me. Part of it is true. The part that can save him. The only part that matters. Basilius and Aelia. Nothing's changed. That water's not magic. The water? Oh, from the healing pond in your dream. It's like a symbol. Like mother's alchemic drawings. Stagnating water is rarely magic. Hey, come see. That's his throne. And this, I think, is his name. Basil? He was a carrier just like you. You're not the only one. That's why you dreamt of all this. Something called you here, and for a good reason. I mean, look at this place. If there's a cure, it has to be here. And who is Aelia? It looks like there is more to this place behind here. Let's keep looking. Come, I'm sure there are extraordinary things waiting. Hmm. <laughs>